fight uh, emergency employment programs. So those emergency employment programs help the affected communities, workers and enterprises to have an alternative source of income. Um, the IEVA has worked with the government, uh, with uh, social partners, um, employers and workers' organizations and our sister agencies to first provide emergency employment opportunities but also look at uh, what could be provided and we see that being part of adaptation to climate change in terms of insurance against climate risks. Well, we think that uh, the facilitative uh, dialogue is an opportunity to review what has been done so far with the Paris Agreement. But from the perspective of the world of work, what we see is that the engagement of actors beyond government, again, I come back to the tripartite nature of the ILO, working with enterprises, uh, employees' organizations and workers' organizations has not been sufficient in the Paris process and, and, and after Paris. We think that there is need for greater engagement of social partners uh, in the process of refining uh, this agenda, reflecting more this imperative of a just transition of the workforce and creation of decent work, which is an element of the Paris Agreement, in national actions. Uh, we all understand that dealing with climate change is not an environmental question. It's fundamentally about development. It's about sustainable development. So in that process, I think countries need to understand better what these social, employment and economic implications would mean for them, what they have signed on to. And we are seeing need for assessments, in particular labor market implications. This is something the ILO is doing with our member countries through green job assessments, helping them to understand what their MDC commitments mean for jobs in their countries. Uh, so this is one important step. Second, identifying sectors that would be most likely impacted. Is it tourism? Is it agriculture industry as part of restructuring? And what are the labor implications in those sectors? And third, um, what labor market responses could contribute to raising this ambition level?